the riskier the research, uh, the, more, the higher the potential payoff is, but also the higher the likelihood that um, if nothing comes of it. Yeah, but you want to make sure you can use yeah. Most recently we've become uh, more interested in, in higher order chromatin organization and how um, nucleosomes are organized in these vast arrays um, and form these three-dimensional networks that will then eventually regulate transcription and, and DNA replication. The idea is that we can um, go into areas that we couldn't otherwise go because there is no money to do that. The Howard Hughes Medical Institute is uh, a decentralized research institute. Rather than putting top investigators in a shiny building and um, letting them do their research there, they select investigators throughout the country. Um, they select people who they think can have an impact um, on research, on basic questions in biological sciences. The main target of our research is not to find cures. Uh, I have to be very honest with that. And usually that's not a very popular statement to make. But I think being at a state university, we have that luxury of, of working on the basic um, discovery. And I should also say that the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, despite its name, um, does not have an explicit mission of medical research. They're very much interested in basic research. There's a number of factors that play into this, so the complexity of the system is very, uh, is mind-boggling. We need to constantly step out of our comfort le level in terms of the techniques that we're applying. I think the days where you can just sit in your lab and do your research using your proved and tried approaches are over. You constantly have to reinvent um, the approaches by which you're looking at them. And um, my lab's very collaborative. Uh, a lot of people in my lab have collaborations that they actually maintain themselves. We work with cell biologists, we work with uh, geneticists, we work with uh, statisticians and mathematicians here at CSU. HHMI allows us to ask um, these bigger, more risky questions. It really forces us to step out of our comfort zone and it forces us to communicate with people whose language, we, scientific language, we really don't understand very well. And, um, you know, it keeps us on our toes, literally. But you should be able to see Fred, right? I think it's also, um, it's just a lot more fun.